In this video, let's talk about final keyword. Okay, so the keyword we are talking about now is final. Now basically final keyword can be used with a variable, a final keyword can be used with a method, and a final keyword can be used with a class. And we'll go step by step. So let's start with the final with variable. Now when you make a variable, let's say if I create a variable called num, and if I say num, the value for num is eight, and of course, when you make a variable, of course, you can change the value later, right? So initially the value was eight and now you're making it nine. There's no problem, right? And of course you can print the value as well. So if I compile this code and execute the recent value is nine. Now there's a concept of making constants, right? So what is constant? So if you make your variable constant, you can't change the value of it. Now the way you can do that is by using a final keyword. Now in different languages, we use different keywords uh, I guess in C++ we use const, in Java we say final. So the moment you make your variable as final variable, the value, uh, the variable becomes constant. So one, once you assign the value, you can't change it. Okay, that's important. And that's why you can see we got an error here. In fact, you can also get this error by compiling the code. You can see it says, cannot assign a value to a final variable. So that's final, yeah, final variable num. Okay, so because num is final, you can't change the value. And this is actually very important. So whenever you have a value which, will, which you think will not change, try to make it final. It's a good practice to make final variables is because you will not get any unexpected output because if you think the value should be constant, then why do you even change it? Example, if you want to make a variable for pi, we know the value of pi, right, which, which, which will not change. So it's good to make that particular variable as final. So it's always a good idea to make a final variable because that's a stand, that's what a good practice is. So we have talked about what is final variable. So final variable simply means making constants. Now let's talk about final method. In fact, even before final method, let's talk about final class, then final method will make much more sense. So at this point, I will just remove this part. So now we know what is final variable is, right? So what I will do here is I have a class here called, uh, let's say calculator. Okay, now I, I'm making this class and in this, or maybe let's keep it simple, let's say A. So I got this class A, right? And now in this class, I have some methods. Let's say the method name is public void show. And you know what? Let's make it calculator just to make, just to make it much more sense. And I will also say public void uh, add. This time I will not return the value. I will just print the output here itself. I will say A into B. And then I will just simply print A plus B. I'm just adding it here itself, right? And then we got the method which is show. And here we are saying public, here we are saying in calc show, okay? So let's say we have this class here, which is calc, and then we have these two methods. And if you want to make it work, of course you have to get object of calc. You will say calc obj equal to new calc. And with this object, you can basically call both the methods. You can say show, you can say add, and you can pass two values, four comma, let's say five, right? Now with this, let me just compile this code and run, compile, no problem, and run. You can see there's no issue, it is printing in calc show and nine. Now what if someone else is trying to create a class called advanced calculator, and maybe you, maybe they're trying to extend, they're trying to inherit the features from your class, which is calc, okay? And by the way, it's possible, anyone can, uh, inherit your method or your classes, right? Because it's available. Uh, what I will do is I want to stop this. I want to say, hey, you know, no one should be able to extend my class. You want to stop the inheritance. How will you do that? So if I make this class as final, you can see it will give you an error. It says the type advanced calculator cannot be a subclass of the final class. That's right. So once you make your class final, you are basically stopping the inheritance. Okay, so basically when we talk about final variable, it means you cannot change the value of it. When you make a class final, it means no one can extend it. You're stopping the inheritance. Okay, that makes sense. Now what if your, your class is not final? So of course anyone can use it. And maybe you don't have an issue of people using your uh, class for in inheritance. The problem which we have is someone will create object, okay, of not your class, but advanced calculator and they will use your features. And you are okay with it because ultimately you're printing your own class name, which is in calc show. Or maybe I can say by Naveen, okay? So maybe this, this calculator is by Naveen. So if I compile this code 
and run, it will print my name. At least I'm getting the credit. But what if someone says, hey, you know, I will use your feature of addition because there's no credit mention, but I will have my own credit here. So I will create my own show method, method overriding, remember? And I can simply print by John. I'm not sure who John is, but let's say if that person says by John. Now what will happen is when you execute the show method and add, you can see add is my implementation, but they are just overriding show method and it says by John. I don't want this. I don't want anyone to override my method. How do I do that? How do I stop over method overriding? In that case, you can make your method as final. Now, when you make your method final, which we talked about here, when you make your method final, no one can override it. You can see we got an error. Cannot override the final method. Okay, so that's how we can use final keyword. We can use final keyword with variable to make it constant. You can use final keyword with a class to stop inheritance. And you can, you can use final keyword with method to stop method overriding. So I hope final makes sense now.